I think this lady is a perp. Miss Cheryl, are, are you a perp? No, I'm not a perp. Because I'm, I'm trying to go to sleep and you, you keep. I'm trying to go to sleep and you keep um you keep knocking on the door every 30 minutes. Is something wrong? <clears throat> Is something wrong? What's going on? Yeah. What? You can just cut it off. Just cut it off. I'm gonna go to sleep. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm going to close the door. Can you feel that? Mm-mm. You just cut it off. What? What? Yeah. I'm gonna go to sleep. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Have a good night. Okay. I seriously think and believe like it's demons. It's like I'm totally convinced right now like this this crap is demons. This lady drinks is an alcoholic and every 30 minutes she keeps <laughs> she keeps uh showing up knocking on the door messing with the ac i told her to just cut the ac off the ac is not working i had to actually open the window because it's it's hot but she wants to keep the ac on and i'm in i'm in here burning up i would go ahead and leave but my car I just got my car detailed like shampooed and the, and the seats and stuff are still a little bit damp everything should be dry in the morning but this is ridiculous my clothes got bleached while I was here 
or maybe I discovered that they had been bleached because I did laundry over here so I don't know if she got possessed and put some stuff in my clothes or if they did that stuff before I got here I have no idea but I am totally convinced that this is demonic every 30 minutes like I'm I'm trying to go to sleep and it's like every 30 minutes just like just like a perp would would wake you up you know what I mean right when you go to that uh that deep sleep so I don't I don't know what to think she does drink she 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 drinks a lot and I knew that was a bad sign when I when I originally discovered that cuz I don't I don't uh I don't drink I don't smoke don't do drugs or anything like that I'm actually kind of tired it's like I'm trying to get rest and it's like dang I cannot seem to get good rest anywhere <laughs> so I'm all right I will be all right and enduring all that I'm just this is just ridiculous you know there's no peace and there's just no no matter where you go or what you do you know I have this bed uh, and I'm, I'm grateful, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm appreciative, but I'm just telling y'all the truth as to what's going on here. And I'm just being honest, you know, she's, she's real nice and extended her hospitality and stuff, but <laughs> this is just, I mean, every 30 minutes just coming up in here knocking on the door, you know, I, I don't even, like, I have to have my cameras hanging on the, um, <laughs> I gotta keep my cameras hanging on here. You know, just, I don't know if she's up to something. I don't know if somebody's telling her to do something. It looked like she got a little hickey on her chest that I didn't see before. I don't know if somebody's in there with, I I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all pray for me. Please pray for me. Because I just can't seem to get peace. Peace of mind or just, I don't know. It's almost as if like I'm trying to force myself to keep myself up because the next 30 minutes she's going to come back here and knock on the door. Luckily, I was able to discover how to lock that door because it's kind of faulty. And I didn't even know the lock on it worked because she had to break the lock because there was another guy that was standing in this trailer who mysteriously just disappeared. And I'm starting to wonder like, did she have him arrested or because this dude... Matter of fact, let me show y'all. A lot of the food stuff I took out because I bought a few food things today uh, just to have here while I'm here for, for a couple days or whatever. He had a whole bunch of, like, chicken. Like, the fruits and stuff, That that's my stuff. Like, the fruit. This right here on this shelf. And then that bottom shelf. And then the ice, that's mine. All this other stuff is his. The guy that used to be here. And those are his drinks. That's my water. But this whole place was full of eggs. And then up here, it was full of, uh, like, chicken. Let me put my, the, he had, like, a whole bunch. That juice is mine. I just bought that. But I took the chicken out and took it to her so I could make room for, for my stuff. But, you know, I don't eat pork. You know, I definitely don't eat pork or anything like that. He had a whole bunch of meat up in here. And then he has food stuff that's up in here. Uh, is that a cell phone? I didn't see that before. That's new. I think the dude was like a diabetic or something. Has some needle stuff going on. So, you know, he left a whole bunch of... Looked like he just did groceries, you know, when he left or whatever. So, just very mysteriously, he left his laptop. He left... You know, a bunch of stuff. So, I hope nothing bad happened to the dude. I mean, she she was hollering, hollering about how the dude owed her money for the rent and stuff like that. And I couldn't see myself paying four hundred thirty dollars for this, even if I did live close by. Like, there's there's no way. There's no way. There's like a really bad odor in here. The the couches and stuff that smells like urine. Um, I don't even know how I've been able to sleep up in here, to be honest with you. 
it's like I have to keep those windows open then I have to spray like air freshener and stuff like that so but again I'm I'm just telling y'all the truth you know I'm not trying to down Miss Cheryl or anything like that but she really has to address her drinking issue because you know that makes it worse if you're a TI and you're constantly drinking or doing drugs and smoking weed and stuff like that that's that's not a good thing you know earlier she wanted me to go get her some beer and um I'm like it's the Shabbat you're not supposed to buy anything and you know, a lot of these TIs, they talk about serving the Father and following the Shabbat and, you know, just doing the Father's, Father's will. And then when you meet some of them, it's like they're doing total opposite of what they say they do online. You know what I mean? So I don't know what to think, but I think I'm going to be here just for tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to pack up my things. Um my car will definitely be dry by the morning so I'm going to try to stick it out during the day as much as I can I'm hoping that she'll just go ahead and pass out and go to sleep and just pass out <laughs> I'm hoping that's what she'll do but uh, if not I don't know because she's had a lot to drink I think somebody is this is the first time that I've noticed um I think somebody's in there with her because like I said she had like this little hickey thing on her chest just now and I, I didn't see that before but I'm extremely observant you know I just I pay attention to everything even before I realized that I was a target or whatever like I've always been very inquisitive and just been able to spot things that other people couldn't see but yep my clothes here. Let me show y'all my clothes real quick. <laughs> and these perps, they really think I'm not a materialistic type person at all, you know. So when I discovered this, I just I kind of laughed. So I was just like, okay, whatever. So this is what they did to my clothes. And I just bought these clothes. These are my uh, shorts that I just recently purchased. So. They bleached those out pretty good. And then, do y'all recognize this? Let's see. This hoodie. Okay. This is my hoodie that I usually use when I climb trees. So I guess this, that's their way of letting me know that I need to stop climbing trees, which is never going to happen. I laugh at that and I'm still going to wear these clothes even though they've bleached them out the way that they have I'm still going to wear them absolutely I bleached out this shirt I don't know if y'all can see it let me cut them I think y'all can still see it me... okay without that light let me see y'all can see it bleach stay in there and there and then on this shirt it was only bleached like right at the bottom. Oh, I just saw another bleach stain on this one, whereas I didn't see one before. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, you got that right there. And you got some of these perps that will come online. A lot of them, they'll act like they're trying to look out for you, but what they'll do is they'll give you a heads up of what they're about to do. Like, there was this one perp that was on one of my videos talking about, oh, be careful because they'll bleach your clothes. You know, and this was shortly after I had did something. Like, I stood up for myself or it was something I did that I knew that that, that kind of pissed them off, that made them butt hurt. So, of course, there's always going to be retaliation. Whether, whether you stand up for yourself or not, these people are going to continue doing what they're doing. That's why I take the initiative to always stand up for myself regardless. And never let these people get the best of me. And stay doing the will of the Father. Because there are no cowards that are going to be allowed into the kingdom of heaven. So I continue to stand tall. Keep my head up. And not let these people get the best of me. No matter what they do. Because all they can do is mess with my things. And sabotage. And do crap like bleach my clothes. But they can't kill me. 
That's one thing they can't do. So the only thing left they have to do is to try to make your life a living hell. And I've said it before and I'll continue to say it again. I am a soldier. I am a soldier from the Most High. Straight up. So they can continue doing what they're doing. I'm going to I'm gonna continue to be who I am and stay consistent till the day that I leave this earth. Till the, till the day that, that my flesh expires. I'm going to continue to be me. So... I'd really like to lay down and go back to sleep, but I know this lady's going to come knocking on that door 30 minutes later. This the same crap perps do. Same crap the law enforcement was doing. I go to sleep. As soon as I get in that deep sleep, I get somebody, you know, knocking on the door. Are you okay? I was just checking on you. You sure? You know what I mean? It's like they're deliberately doing it so you can just snap at them and be like, you know, what the F, you know, leave me the hell alone, you know what I'm saying? And I've, I've not done any of that not one time because I know that's what this, 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 this devil wants, this Satan. I know that's what he wants. So I got to continue to keep a cool head. You know, I got to continue to keep a cool head. And to me, if these people are just... Because these demons are not getting off in me and causing me to act like that. You know what I'm saying? So what is it? These people must be really screwed up that demons are able to inhabit them to act out their deeds through these people. These people do not have the Holy Spirit. I'm starting, I'm starting to really believe that. How could you allow a demon to inhabit your body and act in a manner that you don't even know how you're acting? That is totally demonic. It's like you're just a host. It's like, what are you walking around on this earth for? And demons are able to get off in you like that. I know that especially drinking is, is a major conduit for demons to be able to, to, to get into you. It's like it serves as a, as a portal, a, a, as a catalyst for them to be able to inhabit you and, and act out their deeds. And again, this woman is a heavy drinker. Heavy. You know? So I'm just hanging in there. Like I said, I'm gonna try to duke it out tonight and then stay. Mo I'd really like to leave tomorrow evening. You know, after the sundown when the Shabbat is over with, because you're not supposed to do no work. You know, I just I, I and I really, like I said, I really feel like it's demonic because she kept trying to get me to do work once the sun went down. She kept coming up in here. Okay, let's go ahead and set the AC up. I'm like, look, I can't do nothing because of the Shabbat. I, I, you're not supposed to work. She tried to give me money early to go get her beer. I said, ma'am, I cannot buy anything because it's the Shabbat. If you know the laws, you're not supposed to buy nothing during the Shabbat. Spend no money. You know, and she just was like, oh, are, are you Jewish? And I was like, no. I'm just trying to do my best to strive and do the will of the Father and follow his 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 commandments. You know. But yeah, that demon within her was basically trying to keep me from doing that. And when I discovered my clothes bleached, I went to the I went to the convenience store for her earlier. This is when the sun was up. You know, she was like, I need you to run me an errand. As I felt compelled to do it because, you know, she was letting me stay here. I really didn't want to do that. But I felt compelled because, you know, she was letting me be here. I was like, okay, I guess I'll do that for her. And then by the time I came back, <laughs> I go check on my clothes. My clothes is bleached. So I don't know if something got in her to make her do that. Or I don't know if it was done before I got here. I'm pretty sure I would have noticed something like that while I was putting my clothes in the washer to begin with. But looking back or remembering when I was putting my clothes in the washer, I don't recall seeing that. And then I don't even think I was even really paying attention. I was just trying to get my clothes up in there. But I usually keep my eyes peeled for certain things like that. And that was pretty bad. That bleach job was pretty bad on those pants, especially. And my hoodie. So I'm pretty sure my eye would have picked up on that. And be like okay what the hell. But I swear like when I was putting my stuff in there. I did not see that. So 
I'm not accusing Miss Cheryl because I did not see her do it. Just like I don't see the ever see the perps doing the stuff that they do. It seems like we can hardly ever catch who's doing it. Because if we are being surveillance, if, if, if this remote neural monitoring thing is true where they can see through our eyes, they know where we're at at all times. And they know we can't be in two places at once. So if I'm at the convenience store and my eyes are open, obviously, in the convenience store and I'm looking at the cashier or stuff in the store, they can verify that I'm not back here at the trailer or back at the, at the uh, washroom. So that's when they can carry out their evil deed. And then they also have their ground troops that are looking out, that are working on the road, stalling people, creating traffic to even hinder your journey back so that they can have more time to pull off whatever it is they're trying to pull off. Because when I came back down the road, back to this uh, her property, I noticed a long line of perps. When I was leaving out, there was no perps uh, when I got on the road. It was like a few cars here and there. But when I was coming back in, and mind you, this this area back here is a one way in one way out and those people that were coming out did not even look like they live back here it's a predominantly white neighborhood back here it's kind of like i don't want to say redneck red redneckish people but like just just the people that were coming out did not look like people that lived in this neighborhood they had on those super dark shades and looking like alien grays y'all know who y'all know what i'm talking about a lot of these idiots that'll wear them dark shades and you know it's like dang i never seen shades that dark in my life it almost they almost look like straight alien grays <sighs> but i'm very sleepy and i'm tired i don't know if i should go back to sleep or what but this lady is sleep depriving me right now. She really is. She really is. But I am compelled in thinking that this is straight mind control. There are some people whose minds are not susceptible to whatever it is that's going on. Whether it's demonic possession or somebody's at a control panel doing this or it's a supercomputer. Whatever it is that's happening, there are certain individuals, a handful, because there aren't that I don't believe there are there are that many. There's just a handful of us whose minds are not being manipulated by this thing. And that's why we're catching the hell that we're catching. And you have to know that there must be angelic forces that are on our side keeping us alive. Because if we are that big of a hindrance to this thing, why don't why doesn't it just kill us? You understand what I'm saying? Instead of just putting us through this hell and and all this extra stuff, why not just simply just kill us and take us out? Could it be that this thing has tried to do that and it could not because we have angelic forces on our side that's protecting us? Could that be a possibility? I think that's a good theory. I think that may be a, a, a very good possibility. I don't see how your enemy would want you to continue if you're that big of a threat if if you're not going along with the program and it, it sees that you, you you'll never go along with it why not just go ahead and take you out so i don't know to the idiot perps that uh that bleached my clothes i'm not mad i'm not pissed off at all i actually laughed when i first saw it <laughs> and I, all i could do is just sit there and laugh and just think about how how pathetic and, and, and idiotic and moronic you people are and that's not going to change anything I'm going to continue to still be who the most high put me here to be and it's to stand up to you idiots you know I have food I have shelter I have everything that I need to sustain life I don't care for riches I don't care about money I'm not a materialistic person. It wasn't like those clothes that I bought was like name brand clothes or those are just simple, just regular clothes. I don't wear any clothes with symbols on them. So I'm always wearing just literally plain clothes, no symbols. And that's just the way I like it. No symbols on my hat, no symbols on my shirts, no symbols on my shorts or pants. None of that. I threw away a pair of old Adidas uh, sweatpants that I had that had the little triangle symbol on it. 
I threw that away, away recently. So I'm serious about striving to do the will of the Father and straying away from the wickedness of this world. I am completely unplugged from this system. Completely. I want no parts of it. I couldn't even tell you what the latest TV shows are uh, are out. That's how unplugged I am. I could not tell you what's going on on TV. I do not watch any news. None of that. I live my life strictly on faith and strictly on what I see around me. Rather than li listening to some news feed. Whether, whether uh, trying to stir up chaos and, 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 and strife between your neighbors. I don't listen to any of that crap. There was a situation where I was in uh, I was in Alvin, Texas. And uh, this was after I stopped staying with the family I was staying with. Um, my time had ran out. It was time for me to move on. And um, I kept like trying to find parking, place, parking spots in different neighborhoods around there. And again, they're predominantly white. It's like a mix of white and Hispanic uh, people that live in that neighborhood. So I remember this one particular road I had parked on. It wasn't private property. It was off the road. But there was a neighborhood that was right there. And I remember I got law enforcement called on me. I actually have video of that that I, I, I probably should post. But uh, the law enforcement officer asked me, you know, he said I hadn't committed no crime or anything like that, as, just as the rest of them had, had said. And he asked me, have you been watching the news lately? If you've been watching the news lately, you'll know, you know, why people are so uh, uh, antsy and, and, you know, alert. And I guess during the time, during that particular time, there was a lot of racial stuff going on. I guess the news was putting out racial stuff between white and black people. And here I am, this black dude in this predominantly white neighborhood camping out in my car. You know what I mean? Everybody's starting to come down on me. So the, the sheriff deputy was like, you know, you got to watch the news, buddy, to see what's going on. I told him, I said, look, I don't live my life. I live my life on faith and based on what I see around me. I don't watch. I don't let the news media program my mind to believe something that they're trying to propagate. I straight up told him that. And he said, well, that's a good philosophy to have. But in reality, you know, other people aren't aren't like that or whatever. And he was right. I could understand that. But it's sad, you know. So, I'm just so sick of being around people that are just, it's like I'm the only person, it's like I'm the last of the Mohicans, I swear. The last known survivor. I feel like, a, a, what's that movie called? It's kind of an old school movie. I'm an 80s baby, but this movie came out like in the 70s. Is it Omega Man? For all my, uh, you know, people that are older, if y'all remember that movie, it's like from the 70s called Omega Man with Charlton Heston. Remember, he was, it was something apocalyptic had happened and a lot of people had died. And then he was around these people that were like vampires or something like that. Like they couldn't take the sunlight and they would come out every night and torment and terrorize this dude and keep him awake. <laughs> I remember that movie vividly. I always think of myself as Charlton Heston in that movie, The Omega Man. They made an updated version with Will Smith called I Am Legend. So it was kind of like something like that. But the Omega Man, these people, they had pale skin, white hair. They had on dark shades. They even had on the dark shades at night. Well, they the only time they could come out was at night. Because they couldn't take the sunlight. And they were running around torturing uh, Charlton Heston all over the city. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's crazy how they put the truth out in movies. How... You watch all these movies coming up as a kid, even as an adult. You watch a few flicks, not knowing that some of the flicks that you watch, some of the things that are being shown in that movie that you're going to be experiencing one day. <laughs> I've made comments about the Twilight Zone. I was always a major fan of like Tales from the Crypt, Twilight Zone, um, Tales from the Dark Side. Never knowing that one day I would actually be in my own Twilight Zone. Isn't that crazy? Stephen Shelling is a T.I. He was a guy that played on The Stepfather. I remember him vividly. I don't know what it was about that dude in that movie that stuck in my head. It was almost as if like something was telling me that I was going to have something in common with him when I grew up. But I remember watching that movie, The Stepfather, as a kid. And I especially liked his part because he really cared for his sister. Uh, the stepfather, uh, 
the, the dude that played the stepfather, he killed his sister in the movie. So Stephen Shellen's character, um, he was out on a mission to find out who killed his sister because he wanted justice or whatever. So that always stuck in my head. You know, I was like, oh, that, that was a nice uh, character. You know, he really cared for his sister and he was going to stop at nothing to uh, get, get his sister justice or whatever. And that always stuck in my head. And I don't know why that stuck in my head. And now here we are, 2019, you know, I was watching uh, some uh, 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 T.I. videos and he popped up. I was like, yeah, I remember that dude from The Stepfather. And sure enough, that's what we share in common. We're, we're T.I.'s. So, I'm about to end this. It's almost 30 minutes. Oh, she hasn't showed up. So, maybe she's aware I'm making videos or something. But she kept coming in here. I said, you know what? Next time she comes in here, I am going to record her. Because this is ridiculous. It is extremely ridiculous. You, you can't be serious about being a T.I. and you're doing stuff like that. You cannot. And she may very well be a T.I., but you, you're going about stuff the wrong way. You cannot be drinking alcohol like that. And, and, and then not being aware of what you're doing. You know? You, you can't do that. This place is a mess. It's it's demonic to live in a place where it's just it's messy. And Father, forgive me, but I'm I'm telling the truth. You know, there's no organization here. The house, you know, it's it's dog shit everywhere. It's like twenty or fifty dogs. I mean, you gotta you gotta get it together. You have to get it together. Seriously. <laughs>